What were you saying, Gwen? I couldn't hear you because I was in the shower. No, I was just talking to your mother outside. She suggested that you meet Teresa in the living room. Teresa? Pilar's daughter. Your mother's going to hire her as a personal secretary? Right, right, of course. Ethan, what's wrong? Who was on the phone? Sheridan. Turns out that bastard Jean-Luc had another fiancé. He was just using her for her name and money. I know. Sheridan told me. She did? Well, why didn't you... Well, Ethan, she wanted to tell you herself. How's she doing? You know Sheridan. She acts like it's no big deal, but I know she's devastated. Oh, your poor Ed. Her heart has been broken so many times. Yeah, she's flying home tonight. I think it's for the best. We have to take care of her, Gwen. Let her know she's really loved. Of course. All she ever really wanted was to be loved for herself. Damn those people who target our family. Including that crazy girl who's been after me. I'd like to see them all put away for good. Why can't people just leave our family alone? Ethan, you know why. The Cranes are billionaires. People are just fascinated by lives of the rich. I understand that, Gwen. And I accept that we have to deal with a certain amount of public scrutiny. But that doesn't give people like Jean-Luc the right to lie to Sheridan, to manipulate her emotions for his own personal gain. And, and he's not the first guy to pretend he cared for her when all he was after was her name and money. Well, Jean-Luc is out of her life for good now. But what if a guy like him targets one of my sisters? Well, hopefully that won't happen. But it could. Or worse, some stalker could try to kill someone in my family, unless I do something to stop it right now. Oh, Ethan, what can you do about it? For starters, I can find this girl who's been stalking me and make an example out of her. See, she's prosecuted the fullest extent of the law. You know... Growing up, my parents always warned that people without money would target our family for their own selfish gain. It was so cynical, I, I never wanted to believe them. But after what Jean-Luc did to Sheridan and now that girl who's been stalking me, I have to say, I believe them. Damn gold diggers. Ethan, you don't really believe all poor people are like that, do you? No, of course not. I'm just so angry about what happened to Sheridan. I know. And it's not about how much or how little someone has. They have love, they have everything. I couldn't agree more. him for his money. All I ever wanted was his love. I've been such a fool. He that hates me. All my dreams of our being together are gone. I've got to get out of here. I couldn't bear it if he found out that I'm the girl he thinks is stalking him. You and Sheridan look so happy here. She's the best. More like a sister than my aunt. Well, you can thank Jean-Luc for one thing. Sheridan's coming home for good from Paris tonight. Yeah, brokenhearted. We really have to be protective of her, Gwen. I mean, I know Sheridan, she puts on a strong front, but she's still hurting inside. I know. These celebrity stalkers have got to be stopped once and for all. I wonder what's keeping my mother. She's probably talking to Teresa about the personal secretary job. Where are you going? I can't wait. I have to meet this Teresa now. And she's a local. Maybe she knows the name of the girl who's been stalking me. That can be Sheridan. Ethan Crane? Ethan, it's me. Sheridan, where are you? I'm still in the air. Look, I'm worried about you and that girl, the stalker. Maybe you should call the police. No, no, no. I can handle this. 
there's someone here who might be able to help me find her. Well, be careful. There's no telling what someone like that might do. Teresa, what are you doing? 